Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. At first, I was like, mm, I don't know about this a little. Oh! Somebody! Oh! He needs God. some milk! Oh. She's okay. <clears throat> Hello everyone, Imani Lux here and welcome back, back, back to my channel. So today we have another wig review. First of all, if you have not watched my other big review, make sure that you go watch it. I want to get down below because your girl is coming back to back with the hair reviews. And I need y'all to understand that, like, it's the consistency for me. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Imani here. We praise God. We do trial hauls. We do DIYs. We do hair tutorials, makeup tutorials. We do it all here on this channel. So make sure that you subscribe. You don't ever want to miss a video. And I have a really, really good giveaway coming up. So you can just join and be a subscriber and then, like... Imagine you just become a subscriber and then turn around and win the giveaway. Like, shout out to your Lisa here for sponsoring this video on today. And although this video is sponsored, you guys know I'm going to come with the deets. I'm going to come with the truth because, again, I don't care if it's sponsored, if it's not sponsored. Like, y'all spending your money on this. I want to make sure that I am giving y'all 100% the honest opinion um, on this hair. Make sure you follow me on all social media platforms and tell a friend to tell a friend to follow Imani Lux. And let's just get straight into this video. All right, guys, here she is. This is our unit from Yolisa Hair, a 22 inch kinky curly wig with four C edges. Y'all, this is my first time ever using a wig with four C edges. And let me just say, when I seen it, I was shook. I always love your Lisa hair because, for one, they always have a full front tube. Their lace melts really nicely. The hair is so soft. Everything comes packaged really nicely. They always give me goodies. As you can see, we have um, two wig caps. We also have an edge brush. They also gave me um, the Yolisa elastic band. And we also got a pair of lashes. So this is why I absolutely love Yolisa because if you are a beginner, like they literally give you all the accessories that you need starting out. Showing you all the lace. The lace is really nice. Um, You don't necessarily need to go in and bleach the knots if you don't want to, but I wanted mine to like lay, lay really nicely. So I decided to go in and bleach it instead of just tinting it. Um, so I'm just showing you guys the inside. So we have that full frontal. We love the full frontal because baby, gone are the days of the 13 by four frontals that are not full. We have an extra elastic band in there. We have three combs that come, two on the sides and one in the back, which I always take out those two combs in the middle because they hurt my head. And this is the four C edges, y'all. Like now, me and my mom was laughing at these edges because y'all it look like real edges like this is really what my edges look like before the edge control whole t but um it's just so realistic and it's just it's like amazing how now they're starting to do these wigs with the 4c edges because it'll blend really nice and it'll just make the wigs look even more natural come on for the um evolution of wigs we love that yo lisa so yeah um don't be intimidated by it y'all because once that hair was wet oh my gosh those edges look so beautiful it gives you that like flawless effortless like curly baby hair look so this is what the hair look like y'all believe it or not i did not pluck this hair like this is how it looks all i did was just hot comb it to the back so that when i applied it um to my head i can have like the hair out of the way and also if you're going to be hot combing it don't be putting too much heat on the edges because you don't want to like mess up the texture of the hair or whatever so just go in and hot comb on a low heat and then i'm taking this red ruby kisses powder and i'm applying it inside my wig y'all oh my gosh not me with my ball cap like very ghetto um <laughs> But this is a stocking that I had, um, just a regular sheer stocking. We're just going to put that wig on. And I didn't really like the ruby red kisses thing. Maybe I, I need to try the the cream one because everyone uses the cream, but I didn't like the powder one. I feel like I was using a lot of it for it to like get on my lace, but it really wasn't like given for me. So 
uh that was me contemplating because i'm like huh should i cut the lace off or do like the instagram girlies do and baby i'm gonna cut that lace off i'm gonna do what works for you money lux i don't care what works for the instagram girlies what works for you money lux is to cut that lace off and then to glue it down and then with the access lace we're gonna cut it down even more so i'm going in with my ebon um lace glue i love the black bottle don't even ask me about the red one i it's just i don't know the red one in my opinion it is it takes too long to dry and it's kind of patchy at times i don't know if it's the way i'm applying it or what but this is more of like a cream real um kind of glue if that makes sense like the traditional glue the other one is like iridescent and it's like thinner but i actually like this one better I'm going to apply two layers of the Ebon Lace Glue and you want to make sure that you're getting it on the actual cap and on your skin. Some people do like the two dots and then like blend it together. Y'all, I don't know. This is what works for me. I don't really like doing a ball cap as it is, but you know, I, I'm trying to get the hang of it. <laughs> I'm trying to be, you know, see if it really, really makes a difference in my installs. Because if not, baby, it's I'm about to just give, not do the ball cap. It saves me time. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure that you get it on the ball cap and on the skin. And then once it dries clear like this, you want to um, place. Uh -uh, not to be disrespectful outside the window like that. Place your wig down in sections. Um, if it's easier for you, you don't even have to like put glue down on the whole way. You can do sections. I don't. Did that make any sense? You can do it section by section with applying the wig if it's easier for you. So do just that. Do what is easier for you. So right now I'm just tacking down the hair, and you also want to avoid touching it with your fingers. Um, that's why I'm using the comb to just brush the hair back while also placing that wig in place. And then I'm just going to cut off that excess lace that you see around the parts that didn't stick. Um, we're just going to cut that off because we don't need that. It ain't nothing to cut that lace off. Snip, 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 snip. <laughs> be careful when you're doing this so that you're not cutting off any of the baby hairs from the lace any of your natural baby hair or you don't cut yourself and you also want to make sure that you're cutting in a zigzag motion because you don't want that straight harsh hairline look in my last video we used the aerosol melting spray so this time we're going to use the black melting spray and i'm just going to spray it on my finger and then apply it i realize with this spray because it is a pump it comes out more aggressively so when i i can't just spray this directly on my head because then it starts to drip i just it's just too much and nobody wants to deal with all of that but um i want to find a better application of doing this because honestly putting it on your finger and dabbing it into the lace it's effective but then your fingers are all sticky so i just have to find like that Oh, people was really showing out today outside the window, but oh, I. Right. But anyway, um, I just have to find that happy medium for me so that um, but hey, either way, like it works, like it did what it needed to do, and um, I'm just avoiding putting it like really high up on my edges if that makes any sense. Like I'm trying to make sure that I keep it exactly on the like edges of the lace because this is like it sticks so you don't want it to be build up in your baby hair because then by the time you try to go and do your baby hair your baby hair be like stuck in that position if that makes sense yeah i hope y'all really understand it but you don't, don't just don't get it on your baby hair because <laughs> you don't want this to interfere with your baby hair when you try to go in and actually lay your baby hair it won't lay correctly so don't get on your baby hair and then this is where the melt actually happens i'm putting on that yolisa elastic band per and i left it on for probably like 10 15 minutes and this is what it looked like and baby melted now it is a little residue there but that's because that is the lace melt that was on my forehead so you know it's easy to fix that you're just gonna go in and get um some sea breeze and i use like the cotton round i shouldn't have used this because i felt like this left 
more residue from the actual cotton round but i guess if you have like a paper towel and use a paper towel and do that but as you can see like the cotton round was kind of shedding and attaching to my hair but we got that off real quick and then i'm just going to take some of my um, face powder and apply that on my forehead and on the perimeter of the um, lace in the very front because i did not have any makeup on my forehead so yeah we did that to blend in the makeup and this is what it looked like. like i didn't have to pluck that middle part or nothing like i did not pluck this wig y'all like this wig literally came pre-plucked and the best thing about it is if you're a beginner it's even easier because you ain't even have to cut your baby hair for real like do y'all see that i did not cut that that came like that the only part that i cut is the sideburns but that uh 4c in the front it literally came like that so i didn't even have to cut it of course you can cut it down if you want shorter baby hair but you know i like me a big fluffy baby hair so i just went in with my um pencil flat iron and i curled my baby hair going upwards and i curled my sideburns going downward and i'm taking this mix of nairobi foaming mix and the bold hold liquid gold this gives me a really good hold for my baby hair because when you use mousse if you don't move fast enough it'll lift your lace but the bold hold keeps it in place so this is like perfect for me and as you guys can see look at the texture of the edges is just so bomb like it holds that curl and it just looks so natural in real life like it really looks like it's coming out the scalp and the last thing i'm just gonna do is just take my hot comb and just hot comb that part and um hot comb like the front of my hair up and as you guys can see like that hair just looks it looks like textured hair like i don't really know how to explain it but it just it looks like natural hair like i'm feeling it let me know how you guys feel about it down in the comments below um if you guys want the details on this wig it will be left down below make sure that you cop this wig Every time that I'm near you, I realize that you're heaven sent, baby. I think you're truly something special. Just what my dreams are really made of. Let's stay together, you and me, boy. There's no one like you around, oh, baby. I really like what you. I have worked with Yolisa hair in the past. Um, I will link a picture of like right here of the hair or, uh, that I worked on, y'all. And I bleached that hair down. I bleached that hair probably like three or four times using 50, 50 volume developer and everything. And that hair is still holding up. Like, love this hair. Let me tell y'all why I got it so good is because I've been like, I wanted a kinky curly wig. And then Yolisa hit me up like, you want to try on kinky curly? And I'm like, of course. Of course, I'll leave all the details to this hair down in the link below. So make sure that you guys go and grab it while you can. It's so soft, like it's so 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 soft. Like I just and I didn't put no product in this hair. All I did was spray it with water. Literally, I ain't got no more water left in here, but I just misted it with some water. And look at like just look at how the curls is already pop, bro. With just water, with just water. No product, just water, no oil. Bleached these knots in literally 10 minutes, and it was like a little bit over bleached. So I could have bleached these knots for like seven minutes and be good. It's super full, y'all. It's so full. Let me see if I can stand up so I can see where this hair hits on me. The hair hits me like right here. But again, it's like when they have curly hair, the stretch length that they do as 22. So it's definitely true to length. Look at the, just look at the. Just look at her. Just imagine when you put product in this hair, like, look at the ends. I just, like, blow it out and flat iron it or, like, put some flexi wand curls in it to see what it gives. And then we can see if the curls revert. Mm -hmm. See, I told, I'm going to put this hair to the test for y'all. Like, this is, this is what I do. I'm giving you guys the rundown on this melting spray. In my last video, I told y'all that I would give y'all the tea on a melting spray so first and foremost if you guys want to try this melting spray out make sure that you use the link down below in my bio use code Imani Lux so that you can get money off of your 
purchase with Ebon New York. So they have two variations of the melting spray. This one melting spray of course is liquidy and it comes in like the strengths of the uh what is this extreme extreme firm hold active and then I think just like the regular one which is like the black yellow and red just like how the adhesive lace bonds are in the melting spray it just comes in one strength but it has different um has a different ingredients so this one has keratin I think the other one has vitamin E and I think the other one is like silk protein or something like that so between the two which one would I choose I think I'm gonna go with the aerosol version of it only because no so now the melt works really good like the melting spray it works really good but I'm just accustomed to the aerosol and I feel like this dries a little bit faster um, than this it this doesn't take a long time to dry but the whole putting it on my finger and like dabbing it it's just it gets a little bit messy um, so if I can find another method of using this then um, it's definitely like I'm I like both of them so it's time to put up the bust down middle part wigs and to pick up your kinky curlies your curlies and your wavy Let's pack up the sweaty thighs because the summer is here no but for real it do feel like a little bit like a summer is because in New York has been 50 degrees during winter I did get shedding from this unit and I'm gonna show you all the shedding that I got and this is when I wash my hair I kept the shedding just to show y'all this is literally all the shedding that I got. Let me show you. Which is like barely nothing. Like, do y'all see this? And this is after I washed the hair. If you guys have any questions, make sure that you link it down below. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend to follow Imani Lux. And make sure that you join the Lux Club so that we can do our giveaway. We're doing a giveaway when we hit 3,000 subscribers. And make sure that you follow me on all social media platform don't forget to always stay luxurious